What's going on guys? Dan here back again with another Dank Slinks video. And today I think I may have made one of the best beatdown slash Gemini slash Kaiba Kun decks that you've ever seen in your life. Um, I want to talk about this Pegasus event really quick. I haven't gotten anything done for this Pegasus event um, at all. I have been just on my grind, collecting stuff, buying stuff, things like that. And right now, I have officially purchased every single card in, well, not purchased with, with the cash money, but purchased with gems. Every single card in Chaotic Compliance, I just restarted the box. So there's cards I want multiples of, um, like Master of Oz, um, I would like, I mean, if I can get a third one of those, that'd be all right, since I already got two. And then a second one of those would be okay, and I can make a Black Luster Soldier deck. So, I've got 500-ish gems. I think I'll just spend them on this. Um, and we'll see what we get here. We might not get anything, but I doubt we'll get anything to change, change up, you know, what we got going on right now. So, there's lots of cards in here that I... Oh, my God! A, a third source of spell walls going down. I got a play set of source of spell walls. Oh, my God. Okay, that's that's good. That's amazing. I think I'll be using that. Wow. Three source of spell walls. Oh, that's going to be incredible. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, so good. I can't wait, man. All I need them to do is fix that crap with that psychic trap card. And we're in there. Three Sorcerer's Spell Wall. I don't even care what else I get now. The Sorcerer's Spell Wall was enough. <gasps> what is this? Is this a Gale Lizard or a Phoenix Gear Freak? Ah, uh, no. Destructron. I got three of those. Well, I've had. This will be my fifth one, I think. I'm just. For some reason, I'm unlucky sometimes. When it comes to that kind of stuff. But I spent 500 gems. Got four supers. I would say this box is much better than my previous box. Or however they set it up. Uh, but yeah. Spent almost 400, 450 gems. And got super, got four supers. Three sorcerer spell walls now. Incredible. Wow. Okay. So that's a lot of guys ask. Like how, damn, how do you get a bunch of the same cards. Multiples of supers and ultras. So I constantly reset the box for Chaos Compliance. It was a pretty big box, so it took me a lot of time to get everything I wanted. Most of the cards in there were Super and Ultra I wanted multiple copies of. So, yeah. So, so that's how you end up with more than one than another. But we got three spell walls. Great. So let's talk about this deck we're playing right now. This deck, the Kaibakun deck, this deck um, is so good, man. Basically, it's a Dragon Fusion beatdown deck. We are not really focusing on the whole Gemini aspect. However, they are still useful. Um, but mainly, we're using the Gemini's easy fusion ability, which is just two Gemini monsters, to bring out Super Alloyed Beast Raptinus. Now, he is a dragon, which is the best part. Um, that's all that we really need to know about him. 2200 attack and he all he makes all the uh, effects of Gemini's activate without having to second them second time twin headed thunder dragon you know you're gonna use your thunder dragons to fuse him just a 2800 beat stick interesting thing about this deck is we are running escape from the different dimension along with fusion gate for obvious combos is obvious since Darkstorm Dragon is a Gemini monster we're gonna banish Darkstorm Dragon and any Gemini monster so that we can play um, with Fusion Gate, so we can play Escape from Different Dimension and bring it back. So it gives us a turn, uh, an opportunity to drop three high-level monsters on the field all at once, and then we can use our beatdown ability and get an extra 900 points for each. That'll be 300 points for every uh, level five or higher monster. Um, fantastic. Plus, we're using this card, Stamp and Destruction. There was three Stamp and Destructions in here. There were three. Um, but I did take one out to add in card trader because a lot of times um, This this deck as you can see it without fusion gate it bricks So we need a fusion gate <laughs> So I put that in there um, as an alternative to 
uh, a polymerization or something random. Um, at this point, taking a look here at what we have, uh, we're running three planet pathfinders and two fusion gates. Now you might be asking why am I running five options to get to fusion gate? Because number one, you got to get to fusion gate to win. Number two, um, you'd be surprised especially while well, the camera's on now who knows what'll happen but you'll be surprised um how many duels i get into where i won't even see fusion gate or a planet pathfinder you'll be surprised where i won't see either freaking one it will blow your mind so right now i'm going to get my rank up a little bit for saturday and sunday um this i feel like this might be the sunday deck just still making a couple little changes to it but at this point it's been dominating uh, it's been doing really well. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. I'm, my body is ready. <laughs> I really like this deck. This deck is like, it's like, it's like the dragon deck. Like, like if, oh my god, this is Taya. Well, we might not even get a turn. Never mind. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We might not even get a turn here. Yeah, dual standby. Yeah, we might not get a turn. Alright, so, let's see. If we get a turn, I might be able to show you some stuff. Yeah, if we get a turn, I'm gonna go in, but we might not get a turn. But let's let's see if we get a turn. Oh wow. Um, yeah, you gonna feel the, you gonna be feeling something in a minute. All right. Activate Thunder Dragon. Discard. Search deck. Those Thunder Dragons. All right, easy enough, right? Planet Pathfinder. Get on board. Sack off. Now it's kind of like we're playing regular Yu-Gi-Oh now. <laughs> Surge of Deck. Fusion Gate. Shuffle. Now this hand is a little bit better because we got extra cards from Dual Standby. But Taya's not playing Burn, so I don't know what kind of Dual Standby this is. This is some bullshit Dual Standby. All right, so banish two Gemini's monsters into the fusion gate, boy. To bring forth Super Alloy Beast, Rap Tennis. Rap Tennis, attack position. Stamping destruction. Get that back row the fuck out of here. Nice, and take five. Now, Fugo yet again. Two... Thunder Dragons. Get in there. Get together. Fugo! Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. Attack position. I'll pulverize you! Boy. Boost up. 3,400. Unfortunately, it ain't 35. Get out of here. He was like, ah, oh, my big shield gardener! This is impossible! But, and you see how you got this voice? One card in hand, two cards on field, plus a field spell. We got four cards. That's maintaining card, well, not card advantage. You didn't really lose anything. Well, well, no. We actually had some extra cards because of that thing. Let me not forget. I wouldn't have one card in my hand. I would, might have three. I have three total. So let me not misspeak. But... It feels good to have like fusions out options, abilities to play with board control. I like that. So let's get this person up out of here. Goodbye, Taya. Nice knowing you. Oh, it was definitely nice knowing you. Oh, your burn deck didn't work. <laughs> Mm, I love it. All right, boys. You see, you see how easily you can put foot to ass in this kind of deck. But we need to fight like against a different kind of deck. You know, Karth is gonna be well. You know, stamp of destruction, stamp of destruction. We was gonna stamp that destruction regardless. But I want to play against like you know some Mai, some Rexes, you know, some Weebles, stuff like that. But this deck just powers through and overpowers everything. This is beat down at its true form. Like I think. This may be outside of maybe one or two other decks that has a high uh, propensity of summoning uh, high level monsters. I think that this could be like one of the best B 
beat down decks for Kaiba, you know, because you can constantly get out a level five or higher monster every single turn. And it's pretty consistent. And, you know, you're guaranteed your Thunder Dragon or Gemini. Because every monster in the deck is a Gemini monster. Except for Planet Pathfinder. See, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Is this another dual standby? Oh, and I'm going first. I'm about to have no cards in hand after this. Well, I'm about to have one card in hand. Um, it's kind of funny doing this. Because I know this person might be playing Burn. If they are playing Burn then I want to just get everything out on the field because I don't want anything in my hand because I got that one card that deals damage per number of cards in my hand and that card always gives me the death so I'm going to try to just, you know not get the death <laughs> alright, so we're probably going to need Infinity Dark more than anything because I could be reviving this monster but I don't think I want to do that because I need some of my own and they can't fuse so, show me. All right, Taya. It's my turn. I draw. I hope you can I really like going second with this deck for obvious reasons. To have your extra card. But, um, yep, here we go. Burn style. Take your 500. Now play this card. Oh. You just gonna run into him or something? What is this? What is he, what is he, what is he doing? Alright, that's another five. I guess, does, uh, is those three cards gonna drop me down to 2,500? And then you gonna run into it or something? I, I don't get, I don't get why. Alright, can I get that Thunder Dragon so we can end this game and get rid of these tails? Uh, oh yeah, card trader for sure. Actually, when this card is summoned, inflict. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. God oh, mm, not what I wanted. But we do got card trader, so that's fine. All right, and beat down, boy. I pulverize you. All right, and now it's time to battle. So we're gonna attack this guy. You're going to take seven. I'm going to take five. Uh, I'm going to take your guy, though. And then you're going to take five. Wait. Yeah, you take five. <laughs> I was say, what? Now you take 25. And you wish you could deal damage like me, huh, Taya? All right, so now you're at 800 points. That's what I love about this deck, boys. You can just deal that damage. Oh my god. I think this is my favorite deck ever. Well, one of my favorite decks ever. That's fine. It's, it's about time we draw that Thunder Dragon, actually. See, there's that card I was talking about. Yep, take your five. I mean, your two. Yep, there's another one. See? what I tell you? He had both of those cards in hand ready to deal me death. But your boy dropped his whole hand on turn one because I knew what I was playing. Remember, boys, you got to know your matchups. You learn them. Learn your matchups. All right. Get this shit out of here. We don't need that. Can we get that Thunder Dragon for this fantastic game? Boy. You will not keep my monsters bound, Taya. I'll show you the true strength of a Dragon Master. I offer up my super alloy beast as tribute to break your spell. Then I fuse my beast together. <laughs> Boy, into the dark dimension! It's time. It's goddamn time. And I'm gonna put your boy in attack mode. Oh, wait, don't let me forget. I'll pulverize ya, boy. <laughs> now, who gets the killing blow? Do I gotta kill you with your own mate? Or do I kill you with my own beast? Hmm, I kill you with your own boy. Ooh, I kill you. Ooh, he killed you twice. He came back from the grave, dealt you five. Then he attacked you 411. This man did 1,700 points of damage. Your own monster. 
I mean, sorry, 1,600 points of damage. Your own monster. Crazy. <laughs> he did you 1,600 damage. He only got 1,800 attack. He dealt you double his own attack. Fantastic. I love it. This deck is great, boys. I really like this deck. I like this deck a lot. It's definitely, definitely fun. <laughs> Oh, man. And it's funny because as soon as people see those Gemini monsters or the Super Alloys, they're thinking, man, this guy's running Gemini. I better look out for that Gemini hoo-ha. Like, no, boy. You better look out for these dragons. You better look out for the Super Alloy Beast. You better look out for this Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon Charizard-looking ass out here calling himself a dragon, not really a dragon. <laughs> you better look out for my Thunder Dragons, boy. Look out. Oh, my God. It's just all it is. Just constant bodying with uh, Thunder Dragons, Alloy Beast, and then if we really get into it, we can play Escape from Different Dimension. But as you can see, most duels don't even make it to Escape from Different Dimension. Most duels end before I get there. I'm gonna just enter. When I get when I get hands like this, I just set and I enter. Cause I already got the Future Fusion. I mean not the Future Fusion. I already got the Fusion Gate. And so I drew into the robot, so I said it. The only bad thing from this is if we draw a robot, we're fucked. If we draw a Thunder Dragon, we're not fucked, but it's not ideal. I would prefer to draw a Gemini monster at this point and then draw Escape from a Different Dimension the next turn. That would be perfect. I would enjoy that. I would actually feel good about that. But there is not a good chance I'll get that. There's a better chance I'll get a Gemini, so let's see. Thought oh. Well, Thunder Dragon, you know, kind of like I said, you can't have it all, boys. But I will wait a turn before I unleash because I'm not about to just go bananas on a face down and I don't want to reveal that I'm running the patrol bot because no telling what type of assumptions he'll make from that and I'm not going to set my stamp of destruction because I don't want to risk it getting despelled because I need to use it on back row or field spell depending on the situation. So that's fine. That's absolutely fine, Mr. Jester. I'm glad I did this attack. I would have been pretty upset. You destroyed my robot. All right, boys, so the time has run out, and I have to act. I need to draw that Gemini monster now. Fuck. Didn't draw the Gemini monster. I'm going to take a risk. I'm just going to let him attack me because I need to draw the Gemini monster and clear the back row before I attack. I cannot... Um, I can't, uh, I can't attack w with back row. I have to, I have to draw, um, that's fine. Summon so the Dank Magician. I have to make sure that I draw the right card. Meow the Magic Boy. Go get him. Hurry up. If he attacks and activates Magician Circle, it's just a game. But if he doesn't attack and activate Magician Circle, that means that first card is probably Mirror Wall. So, man, he didn't activate Magician Circle. That means the second card is Magician Circle. So I gotta draw the Gemini card right now. Please do not let me go without drawing that Gemini monster. I need it. Draw. Thank you. Okay. It's goddamn time. We needed the Gemini monster because we had to play our Stamp and Destruction on the back row. So we'll see if my faith has truly rewarded. Come forth, see the alloy dragon, and we need to draw that um escape from a different dimension now, because we got two of our most powerful dragons in the discard. I mean, in the banished zone right now. Um, Stamp and destruction. Get rid of that bullshit in the back row. Boy. Now what is it? Huh. Okay. Well. Clearly, that was the wrong one. Uh, wow. And I was afraid of nothing. I, I assumed this person was better than they were. So, my fault. And there literally is no safe attack into this thing. It's a 2200. Um, I'm going to have a guy that's going to have uh, 3000 to swing over at it. So, that's what we're going to do. Oh no, 2800, my bad. My math magician skills is not all that great. 
Oh, is that the mirror wall sitting over there? Is that the mirror wall? What is it? Play it, boy. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so whatever that is, probably is Magician Circle. More than likely, it's Magician Circle. Man, I think he Karibo'd the wrong boy, too. He should have Karibo'd this man, because he has 2,100 defense. But that's kind of semantics. So, doesn't really matter. Right, change to attack position. I'm wishing I had that card trader, but I don't. It's time to go. Beat down. You ain't getting away from this ass whooping. Dun, 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 dun. Battle. Super alloy beast attack that face down. Twin headed thunder dragon direct attack. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, my God, boys. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Um, I think it's a good day to end, a good a good way to end this video off on three consecutive Ws. Let me know what you think about this deck. Let me know what you think about the cards that I've chosen. Ranking up up in this bitch. I think this is the first time I've ever ranked up or got three consecutive Ws telling you guys, man, this deck is fire. Man, this deck is amazing. Man, this deck will give these L's to these boys. I remember I, I used to say that all the time, but then I would follow up with the direct L's. All we do is W out here right now. All we doing is W. So, so my boy, I need you to please, please tell me what you think about this deck. Please tell me if you want to see some other kind of decks. I don't know, similar type thing. This is the straight up Fugo deck. This is like like, of all the decks that I've ever made, I think this is the best fusion deck that I've made so far. But let me know what you think. And as always, my boys, keep it dang.